Hello, my name is Bruce Wayman and I'm the director of the Education Program in Anatomy. I am also the director of the Surgical Skills Lab and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pathology and Molecular Medicine. I teach a number of different types of students, Bachelor of Health Sciences, midwifery students, I teach them a lot. I also teach in the Michael G. DeGroot School of Medicine. And this, this is a female pelvis. The pelvis is one of the most difficult pieces of anatomy to teach because it's anatomy in a bowl and it's so different from the front to the back to the bottom to the top and you can't visualize it very easily on a two-dimensional view and so our big challenge was how do you teach three-dimensional anatomy to modern students. So my name is Michael Romaniak and I'm a kinesiology student uh, and one of the student partners working with Dr. Wayman on the HoloLens project and uh, this right here in my hand is the Microsoft HoloLens. Um, it is a virtual computer, a uh, computer that uh, uses augmented reality to overlay holograms in the real world. Holograms that we can manipulate with our voice, with our hands, um, sort of with our movement. I had approached Dr. Wayman and Dr. Wayman really liked the idea and liked the direction that we could potentially take this in. We've had a chance to sort of create some models just to start off with to work off of the existing research that Dr. Wayman already has in regards to the pelvis. Um, he sort of assessed and compared uh, what it's like learning from a three-dimensional model of the pelvis mm -hmm. on an iPad app and now we're sort of taking it to that next level by creating a 3D hologram within the real world that students can, can sort of uh, walk around, can manipulate with their hands uh, and see how that actually affects the learning of the anatomy. We are now setting up the hologram, uh, which sort of you can see from my point of view. It is of the pelvis embedded within the skeleton. Uh, and we are actually going to pull it out of the, uh, the model itself and sort of uh, look at it from all dimensions. And uh, there are several things that we can have our students do when we actually do the research with this, uh, is we can have them uh, rotate it. Um, if they don't want to remove. And we do actually have a component where uh, there will be labels that students can, can press and click and, and sort of uh, have appear over top, overlaid over the pelvis. You know, one of the great things when we're using this technology is it how it's brought people at McMaster you know, together in different projects. We've got some funding from the Faculty of Health Sciences to actually buy the lens. I'm working with Tom Doyle in engineering who's helping us uh, develop more holograms and of course use it for engineering uh, applications which will be really great. And I think the other thing is that you know we're testing it and so we're using uh, people like Sandra Montero and, and Jeff Norman are going to be, going to be helping us uh, figure out what the real value is as a learning tool. I think that the impact on student learning will be twofold. One is an increase in engagement. I mean, think that the technology is so exciting that many people will just want to use it because it's just so fun. And of course, the secondary impact is that they will in fact learn their anatomy uh, more effectively and then go on to be you know, better clinicians or or better uh, students in the future, or just better people because they've learned how their body works. Well, I think the research that we're doing, looking at holograms and, and other types of 3D representations and testing them is important because without data, without real hard data about what works and what doesn't, well, we're just blowing bubbles. We really don't know what's working. And so I think it's important to get the data but I also think it's important to stay abreast of technology. I think that the students expect that. I think it's, it's even a form of professionalism where we're doing what is the most progressive and, and also the most promising of research uh, endeavors and also using those technologies that we think have the most promise. And so we're, we're trying to stay ahead of the curve. We're trying to be the people that are innovating, not just following.